For our physics media project, our group has chosen projectile motion as our topic. Projectile motion is an object that is thrown upwards and outwards, creating an arch, and is then pulled down due to gravity and nothing else. An example of what projectile motion would look like is when you throw a basketball towards a hoop and it creates an arch. For our project, we have decided to use two sets of coins. We use two pennies and two quarters. We place one coin near the end of the table and place the other coin roughly two inches behind it. We would then flick the coin in the back towards the coin in the front to create projectile motion. Because we know the height of the table, we can predict where the coins will land. We predict that quarter one will fall at about three feet while quarter two will fall at about two feet. We also predict that penny one will fall at four feet and penny two will fall at about three feet. We predicted that quarter one will travel at about three feet, while quarter two will travel at about two feet. And after the demonstration, we found that quarter one traveled at three feet and quarter two traveled at 1.7 feet, which is pretty close to our initial prediction. Penny one, we believed it would travel at four feet and penny two at about three feet. But we found that penny one traveled at 3.2 feet, while penny two traveled at 1.75 feet. So we found that penny one and penny two landed shorter than what we had predicted. The starting velocity for quarter one was 2.12 meters per second, while the starting velocity for the penny was 1.25 meters per second. For quarter two and penny two, they both had a decreased starting velocity. Quarter two starting velocity was 1.11 meters per second, while penny two was 1.23 meters per second. This is because quarter two and penny two collided with quarter one and penny one. Due to the ignored air resistance in the experiment, we found that quarter one and quarter two traveled at a slightly larger velocity over a slightly longer distance than penny one and two. Since penny one collided with penny two before going over the edge of the table, they both left the table at the same time, resulting in the same vertical motion for each coin. They both were in free fall for the same height and for the same time interval. This resulted in them landing at the same exact time as well. Similar results were seen for quarter one and quarter two.